Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So yes, today we have another video and it's going to be a Goose Creek candle haul plus design video. So yes, I have designed some more uh, juicy candles for Goose Creek and so I want to take a moment to talk about them here on this video. Full disclaimer, I do indeed work for Goose Creek so I am paid for my design work at Goose Creek. Uh, but I am, however, not paid to make this video but of course I still want to talk about them and do this haul video so that's where we are here today. Uh, the candles in this video were indeed provided from Goose Creek. So without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, so the way this was set up, I chose the candles that I wanted myself and I still like actually like did the order on the website. So I can also speak to how the shipping or transit time is. I know they were like super slammed during the holiday season. And I think I saw a message about how there was like some kind of like scam or something or another going on with a like a uh, imposter website. And so that like really flooded them with customer support uh, issues and tickets. And then combine that with the influence of holiday orders. I think there was a real backup of candle orders that I heard about. Uh, but uh, I did put in an order on the second to, to get these candles. Of course, they were still paid for Goose from Goose Creek. Uh, and then it took until today to get them. So that would be nine days. So that would be a week and two days uh, is what it took to get these candles. So if you're wanting to order now after the holiday rush is over, mine took a week and two days to get to me. And it was just standard shipping, nothing expedited or anything at all. I was just just, you know, just another customer placing an order through their website. So there was that. So yes. Uh, and so today's collection is going to be Valentine's Day candles. Yes. So I have to say I'm not the biggest fan of Valentine's Day for some reasons that I'm sure you guys already know. But I do love designing for Valentine's Day because girl, give me all the like frilly, cute, like pink, juicy hearts and roses and all that kind of stuff. Oh my God, it soothes my soul. I just love the color palette of Valentine's Day and how pretty it is. And a lot of times you can like incorporate, you know, like frilly Victorian or, you know, that kind of like juicy bed bedazzled, like glam type of stuff. So I really enjoy designing for Valentine's Day. So I'm super excited to do this collection. So there are, I believe, a total of eight fragrances. There are four that are going to be like the romantic collection and then four that are the treats collection. And since I'm just so inundated with candles, I selected four candles, so two from each collection, just so I could speak and talk about it with you guys here. Uh, and so uh, here we go. So the first collection we have is the treats collection and it's super cute and fun. I just want to do something a little bit uh, like sort of modern and geometric, but still a little retro at the same time. And it just kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, some like packaging that you might see for, you know, Valentine's Day like candy or treats or you know things like that and so I wanted like a bright fun like poppy uh, geometric pattern and then obviously have the little focal point uh, with the diamond in the middle uh, and then you see the icon there and the juicy font there as well and so that's what that looks like and we have a really uh, fun matching white lid on this one. So I believe all eight fragrances are returning fragrances, but because I have not, you know, been with Goose Creek for a super long time, they are all new to me. So the first one we have is Rose Petal Icing. Uh, no notes on the bottom yet, uh, but we do have the notes online. And let's see, what does it say? Of course, uh, I have to get something that's called Rose Petal Icing, right? Uh, let's see. Sweet as a rose, enjoy bright pink rose petals with a soft layer of creamy vanilla sugar. And so that sounds great. But then the prominent scent notes, like add in some other stuff that might like kind of confuse you. Uh, pink rose, water lily, apple, grapefruit, and vanilla icing. So it's like, okay, what's the water lily, apple, and grapefruit gonna do? So uh, let's see, white wax on this one. And that's what that looks like right there. And oh my God, I was like pleasantly surprised and delighted when I smelled this one. So if you enjoy a fragrance that is like Pink Petal Tea Cake, uh, then you might really enjoy this candle as well. It's your sugary sweet, like, uh, you know, rose petal icing fondant, uh, you know, cake topping, some kind of like cream or icing frosting that you might get that smells like roses. Uh, but it's very much sweet and sugary and candied and it has a little bit of like a zesty crispness to it. Uh, and then mixed with like this sort of like vanilla undertone. And it's, yeah, it smells very similar to a pink petal tea cake type of fragrance. So if you enjoyed that, I think you might enjoy rose petal icing as well. Yeah, it's sugary and sweet. Uh, this one, I think the the like difference between this and another type of fragrance that could be similar to this uh, would be that this one, has maybe just a hint more of that grapefruit in there. And I don't know if it's because it's like listed as a note that you're gonna like pinpoint it, but the, 
just just a little bit more of like a, a zing or, or a citrus that makes it a little bit more bright uh, and almost like more kind of like how like a sugar crystal has like a sharp crystally like hardness to it. I guess that is kind of what like the uh, grapefruit does to this. Yeah, it just makes it a little more brighter and almost zesty in a way, uh, kind of like a like a bright frosting or icing uh, would do. Almost in like I don't want to say cool, but I don't I don't know, kind kind of roundabout. But in any case, yeah. Um, but otherwise, yeah. Um, that was rose petal icing. I haven't burned it, but you know, if you are looking for a fragrance like this all year round with also a label designed by yours truly, uh, then check out rose petal icing. It's kind of fun to have this type of fragrance uh, with a label that's actually created by myself. So yeah, one of my favorite type of fragrances out there. So excited to have my own design on a fragrance that smells uh, like this. So rose petal icing right here. Uh, next, let's see, we have gummy bears. And so honestly, I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of like gummy bear candy fragrances or like fruity fragrances, but it was, I kind of collect these for my own like artwork or design work, uh, like to put in my house and like display in my collection. And so I was like, oh, but this color scheme is the most favorite of mine. Uh, and so this one, I like the variety of like that sort of like uh, lighter green as well as the pink in there. So it kind of evokes like a bag of, you know, gummy bears that might have like a pink and a green color in there uh, so I liked that type of color palette so that's why I went with this one and very fun has a cute little gummy bear icon on there and that's what that looks like uh, so let's see gummy bears is uh, gummy bear candy cherry strawberry lemon lime and candied sugar so sure enough yeah very zesty on the lemon and lime for sure um, and then you get a little bit of cherry in the background. Um, like this could be almost like a cherry lime slushy too, but it does smell, I guess, like a bag of gummy bears would smell like. I honestly can't remember the last time I've even had a gummy bear, so I can't really like go to my memory bank and try to compare it apples to apples. But nonetheless, kind of like a, you know, sweet candy type of fragrance that has definitely a emphasis on the citrus and then the cherry uh, sort of sweetness afterwards. So yeah, honestly, not my favorite type of fragrance, but the packaging and just the concept of it for like, you know, I guess Valentine's Day was cute and I love the color on it. So that's kind of why I got it. So gummy bears right there. Uh, the other two are Cupid's Cocktail, uh, which is in like a juicy little uh, purple packaging. And this one's going to be pink raspberry, blue raspberry cocktails and candied sugar. Uh, and then we have a pink sugar cookies as well. And that is going to be warm sugar cookies pink cherry icing and sprinkled vanilla sugar uh on fragrance uh alone i kind of want to try the pink sugar cookies but like i already had rose petal icing which is like a more vibrant uh intense like pink color and pink sugar cookies a little bit more pastel and because they were both pink colored uh for like aesthetic collection purposes i guess i wanted to get two that were a little bit more different or distinct so ah look at how juicy and fun those are i love it so that was the treats collection for valentine's day Moving on, we have a uh, four of the romantic candles. And the first one we have here is My Wish. And oh my God, how juicy is this? I just wanted to go like maximalist, like juicy, like, you know, just like, I don't even know how to say it, but just like over the top, like very obviously Valentine's Day, feminine, girly, like all the stuff you think of when you think of Valentine's Day. And here it is. Oh my God, how fun and juicy is that? So we have a gold lid on this one. Uh, and then the My Wish part actually has a metallic sheen on it, which is really fun. Uh, so it makes it stand out a little bit more. I love like the sort of script font there and the wish and the way that sort of interacts with each other. Uh, and we have this little flower here that's also glossy. It's similar to the finish there uh, and then we have like a more of like a gritty uh, texture on here because it kind of looks almost like a almost like a scrapbooky like paper print on it so this one has more of like a sort of grit uh, texture uh, finish to it as you can sort of hear there and so yeah I really enjoyed the way this turned out so super juicy so my wish uh, let's see what do the notes say on this um, sheer woods Tahitian vanilla black pepper and bergamot and when I read that I was like girl I have no idea what this is gonna be other than like some kind of like you know body care type of a fragrance and this sure indeed is that yeah um i have to say it reminds me of fragrances that could be similar to sunset glow uh that type of like body care fragrance is what i get from it it's sort of like sweet 
uh, but floral at the same time, a little bit sensual. I think um, somebody was saying that it was also similar to the one of the Sol de Janeiro type of fragrances. Uh, I don't know because I haven't really smelled those. But I think people were also saying Sunset Glow was similar to Sol de Janeiro. So I guess it's in that family of fragrances. So if you like that, then check it out. Uh, which Sweetheart Cherry uh, coming up is also similar to those fragrances, except for that's heavier on the cherry. Uh, so yeah, but I was just really uh, like wanting a, you know, fragrance or a home fragrance or a candle that was similar to like Sunset Glow. I use the shower gel a lot and I really enjoy it. And uh, while not exactly the same, this has a very similar type of profile to it. So I enjoy that. Yeah, very perfumey, uh, floral, musky, and a little bit of like a, almost like a cherry fruitiness in the background that gives it like a romantic body care vibe to it. Uh, yeah, I, I enjoy it actually. Uh, so kind of excited to burn this one and see how it does. Um, yeah, so that was my wish right there. It very much has like a sort of like red, uh, like romantic feel to it uh, in my opinion. So that's what that looks like. The next one we have is Under a Spell. And ooh, this one is like a fun purple color. Once again, we have the metallic sheen on there and that's what the wraparound looks like. Uh, and this one has a silver lid on it just because this like has a little bit more of like, the cooler tones on it. Uh, and I think either was it, there's one called Late Night that has a silver lid and then Date Night, once again, has a gold lid on it. Uh, but in any case, for Under a Spell, uh, what do the notes say on this one? Um, enchanting spell, pink peach, pink raspberry cherry blossom blooms, and delicate woods. So yeah, uh, if you enjoy a fragrance uh, similar to a love spell, then you might enjoy this one as well. It has a similar type of fragrance to it. Yeah, it has that like very fruity, almost like a pear. What is it? It's like a pear and something else. Like a, yeah, I guess it says peach on this one. It's like a pear berry. Fragrance with like a kind of synthetic floral body care undertone to it. Yeah, if you enjoy fragrances like Love Spell, then this candle is similar to that type of fragrance. So you might want to check out Under a Spell. So yeah, Love Spell and fragrances similar to that are my favorite, but I just really wanted the matching like red and purple. So that's why we did that right there. So that was under a spell right there. Uh, and then we have a fun little duo called Date Night and Late Night. Uh, and so the idea on that was Date Night uh, is supposed to be like a champagne type fragrance. Uh, and it says sugared blood orange, pink grapefruit, sparkling sugar, and shimmering bubbles. So I think it's supposed to be like a champagne type fragrance. Uh, so like if you're to go out on Date Night, you might like for Valentine's Day, you would like, you know, sip champagne. And so that was the concept for that one. And since it has like an effervescent champagne type of feel to it, there's like a gold uh, hue to the overall uh, candle design. And then lastly, we have Late Night, which is the pairing with Date Night. And Late Night is kind of like the, uh, kind of almost like a companion or like almost like a, I don't want to say opposite to it, but it like, it's like the champagne during date night and then during late night when, you know, the sun's going down and you want to get sort of romantic and sensual, uh, you might smell like a sort of like a fresh, uh, more masculine type of almost like a cologne fragrance in the air uh, that you might, uh, you know, smell during the uh, late later nighttime uh, time frame. And so this one says cool water, lemon flower, jasmine, cedar, wood, and musk. So I think that's supposed to be like a more of like a sort of a fresh, uh, perhaps like an aquatic cologne type of fragrance so then that was the concept for the late night uh and so that was the duo there and so that wraps up the entire valentine's day collection and i think uh i did not work on it but there is a uh strawberry shortcake uh another collection of those candles out as well uh i think to coincide with the Valentine's Day time frame. So yeah, super happy about how these came out. I love the like metallic finish on this. I love how just like juicy and like just like bam these are like in your face with how valentine's day they are and then i kind of like the uh like sort of the the switch up or a difference uh between that design and then something that's a little bit more geometric uh and fun and graphical like this so yeah uh so yeah uh check out rose petal icing if you like fragrances like that uh and want a label that's designed by yours truly check that out and then this my wish one is yeah 
kind of fun too. So uh, excited to burn these and see how these go. So that was it for my Goose Creek Valentine's Day video. Uh, always be on the lookout for more fun candles uh, from Goose Creek as well. And let me know if you've tried any of these fragrances, if you smelled them or you know your thoughts on them, leave them down below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.